Hey, what's happening everyone? Extreme Pan Sonic here, back in another video, and this video is going to be about my experience with Guild Wars 2, particularly World vs. World, and what I hope to get out of it, pretty much my plans, you know, objective kind of thing. Now, let's start a little bit back from the beginning. When I first got this game, I had no intention whatsoever to go and um, World vs. World. I was actually leaning towards PvP. And um, when I first got this game, and I found out that the PvP section was actually divided up, it wasn't the same with PvE, like you couldn't take the gear from PvE to PvP, that kind of turned me off. I was like, oh, no, really? Because I, I really didn't want to, um, you know, invest my time again to level up to level 80 PvP. So I was like, oh, not really. That wasn't for me. So I had no choice. So I had to go to Wolf as well because I wanted to test out my gear and my skills against other people using the you know the gear that I have that I grinded out. But it's not really grind, but it's grind. I'm not gonna like twist it up. It's grinding. It's, there's no changing about it. I wanted to see how my gear, you know, keeps up against other people. Now, um, at first it was just me kind of hoping to face up against one-on-one -on -one people. Hopefully, maybe. Not get caught in a zerg or something like that. But after a while, I started playing Wolf of the World more and more, and I started to enjoy the game. I started to see the game more. <clears throat> I started to see the game more than just for me to um, what's the call it again? Test out my skills. Now, um, at first, the game kind of got was really hard for me to get into because oh shit, the lag is insane. There must be a zerg nearby. My zerg senses are tingling. Anyways, at first, at first, getting into World vs. World was quite difficult because number one, there wasn't much people on it. At first, I thought like, oh, nobody plays World vs. World. That's pretty shit. What am I supposed to do now? Then I realized people can't do anything if there's no commanders online. I learned that commanders lead people to keeps, camps, and stuff like that. So it was like, oh, okay. So one day, I finally found a commander who was online, and. Behold, this game was fun as fuck. I couldn't believe how much fun I had playing this game, especially when you're playing with a huge amount of people taking camps, keeps, and um, level. I was leveling up like crazy. I was like, damn, I spent so much time in PvE trying to get XP. Okay, now before you go on to the conversation and say, oh, you're such a noob, leveling up is so easy, I didn't know that. I was like, oh shit, oh fuck, <laughs> look at them, stacking up up there, fuck, there's no, oh, there's no way we're gonna beat them, ah fuck that, I'm running, um, I should stay and fight, nah, if I go, I'll, if I go, I'll just get wiped out, anyways, the game was fun as heck, I leveled up like crazy, and I finally got to level 80, now, I've been spending more time in World vs. World than I have in PvE, and that's because there's not so much to do in PvE anyways, like, once you do the living, living story, that's it. I've fully finished um, this, my personal story, I've beaten Zaitan, I have actually have a video uploaded about being beaten Zaitan, my, my first experience. But, um, yeah, I've been spending more time, more and more time in World vs. World, and then I thought to myself, like, you know, I, I really want to spend most of my time on War vs. World. Like, I want to... Man. Oh, shit. Anyways, let me just fight this. Whoa. Damn. This build was not built for one-on-one. -on -one. Oh, shit. Wiped out instantly. Anyways. I wanted to spend more time in War vs. World. But I couldn't do it all the time because I have to depend on a commander to be online and he had to be actually a good command he actually had to know what to do it like so I started earning my gold and had my own set of targets I needed to become a commander if I really want to maximize my own enjoyment and I also had to know the fundamentals of War vs World so I can help people and you know we can all achieve goals in War vs World so about, I think a week ago, or two weeks ago, I finally got my commander's title. And, I have, when I got my commander's title, I didn't go and activate it immediately. I had to go, you know, look at other videos, 
tips and stuff like that. And I um, learned enough for me to feel I was ready to activate commanders. So I turned it on. And when I did turn it on actually and started leading my group into so, you know, into camps and stuff like that. This entire area was taken by... Uh, was it Fort Rannick? No, it wasn't Fort Rannick. It was something else. It was a different server. I can't remember what it is. But this entire place was completely green. And I didn't know that. <laughs> All I did was go run around in circle and be like, Okay guys, take that camp. Now we're taking this keep. Now we're taking the August camp. Now we're taking the camp for supplies. Now we're taking keep again. And before I, re before I realized it, we had taken back all of our stuff. And I was looking at the chat and people were saying, Congratulations, good job, Sonic, good job. I was like, oh, thanks. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Do you want to know what, what the funniest part of it was? Um, when I was like, uh, what's like playing around and just moving around, I wasn't really paying attention. Uh, um, actually, I'm not going to say that part. But point is, <clears throat> I learned... You know, fundamentals. I knew I knew what I knew what, what I had to do. I just didn't know like, you know, I well, I didn't know I conquered the entire Ring of Fire area with ease. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay, I'm bragging now. Okay, I shouldn't be bragging, but I had to. Come on, first time I conquered the entire area. That's pretty worth mentioning. So and I also learned another thing. I know that people are saying, oh, this certain event gives out more gold, or this thing gives out more gold. It all depends on what you want to do. That's what I think. I think you should do what you like to earn gold. And I like doing War for this World. And I earn, and I kid you not, I earn 12 to 13 golds on average. Sometimes it's 7, sometimes it's 15. It really depends on how long I play, on how well we do. That's how, like, yesterday, not yesterday, I think three days ago, I earned 15 gold. I was like, when I looked at it, I was like, holy damn, I earned that much? Because usually, on average, I would only earn 2 to 4 golds a day. And I was like, damn, definitely going to be playing World vs. World now. And um, yeah, but, like, our server is on the high service. Like, we aren't, like, low or medium population. We are high server people, but there aren't many people online. And when we do go up against other people, like Fort Hanek, for example, we are at numbered as fuck. Like, let's just say there's 50 of us. There'll be 50 against 500. And that's another problem. When that happens, people keep forgetting that when you're at numbered, it's obvious that the other server's gonna be good. But there's always people that are always going in the chat going, oh, this server is shit. This server is crap. They don't know what they're doing. Like, how the fuck are we supposed to beat 500 people who are always online when there's only 50 of us? Like, it's never that we are outnum- like, outskilled. We are always outnumbered. So, uh, then I came up with another objective. Okay. My first objective was, um, to earn gold. To earn gold. That was my first original objective. To earn gold so I can buy the legendary armors and weapons. I know the ascendants came out, but they are pointless to me because what's the point of me going for ascended gear if I'm gonna end up going for ascended? No, if I am, if I'm gonna end up going for legendary weapons and armors anyway. So I was like, might as well save my stuff, save my money, and then go straight up for legendary armors and weapons. My second objective was to become a commander, so I can fully maximize my enjoyment in this game because I wanna be in War vs. World all the time and you know, take camps, take keeps, and stuff like that. But I don't want to. I don't. I don't want to have to rely on a commander to always be online. I want to be commander at any time, whenever I want. If there's a commander online, I just follow him. If he goes offline, I'll become commander and take over. It's as simple as that. And my third objective is to build a clan that is fully dedicated to World vs. World. Now, when I say fully dedicated, like that term can mean like you must play World vs. World. You shall never leave. Nah, it's not. It's not like that. It's not like that. What I mean is that I ho I'm hoping the majority of the people would s play War vs. World, but if there's a living story that comes out, or if you really just don't feel like playing War vs. World, that's fine. Like that is completely okay. But I, w I want people to know that the major, like the objective for this clan, would be um, World vs. World. Now. When I got this idea, this idea actually came to me um, after reading the chat of people saying, Oh, this server is shit, this server is the underdog, 
Why am I even in the sofa? I felt like, you know what? This feels like a freaking fairy tale moment. Like, when, um, if you don't watch anime, then you're probably not gonna know what I'm talking about. But when, um, Natsu's guild were at the top, and then suddenly, after the seven years gap, they went straight back to the bottom. They had to go and see if they can earn back their title as the number one guild. You know what I mean? Blah, 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 blah. And, uh, and last season, I think, our server ranked Bronze League. So, I was thinking, with the combined guild as, you know, with Pony, is it Pony or Pawning? I don't know, there's another guild here that's dedicated to Peep and Wolf as well, but I don't know their actual name, I just know their tag name is Pony. Com with them combined with the, with the guild that I'm going to be building, hopefully if there's people that are interested, just hit me up in my, um, I'll leave my character's name in the description below if you're interested, that is. If you're not forced to do it, I'm just asking. If I can build up a freaking shit! I freaking hate um Oh shit. Wow, I wasn't even paying attention. Um if I can build up a clan that is focused on Wolf's world and if hopefully my actually huge objective is to push our gear servers to um the gold leagues. Now I know that's huge and I know that's way um demanding, but you can't achieve things if you don't set goals. I know you're supposed to set realistic goals. Okay, I can accept Silver League. Silver League is achievable. Our server is more than capable for Silver Leagues. So um, yeah, that is kind of like, that is what I'm, that is what I have set up for myself in this game. I think you can. I think like when you find something that you like, see if you can set goals for it to keep the maximizing, to keep it going. Like really. <clears throat> Don't force yourself to play a game that you just don't like. That's kind of my, my philosophy. If you just don't like the game, don't play it. If you like the game, still have goals for it. That's what I'm doing. Right now, my, I'm going to be spending most of my time on Wolf vs. World. See, if, what, see what I can do. That's pretty much it. I've actually made a build, um, a commander's build. I don't know if this build is going to be good. Let me know in the comment sections below what you guys think of this build. Let me just show you guys. This is what I have. This is why Dick will help me maximize myself as a good commander. I have. I'm just gonna browse through it really quickly. You can pause it and you know tell me what you guys think of it. Awkward silence. And that's it. So I I built this um this this is supposed to be a commander's build. I'm gonna call it Excalibur build. Why? Because. Fuck it, that's why. So um, yeah, that's my objective. This hammer's pretty badass. I'm a stream Panasonic, and yeah, I'm done. I'm gonna go now and see. the commander's still online actually. Nope, the commander's gone. So yeah, I'm gonna be a commander now. Whew. So I'll see you guys next time. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Give me a thumbs up if you you know agree with what I'm saying. If you don't. Let me know in the comment section below what you what you do to keep yourself busy in this game. And hopefully the 21st of January might actually the patch might actually be something else. That giant robot-sized golem looks pretty beast. Anyways, I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.